Hi, George here again, and with me is the Hamilton C2 transport ventilator. Now in this video what we're going to do is we're going to turn the ventilator on and I'm going to take you to the uh, pre-use check window so that you can see where the pre-use checks are. Plus you'll get an idea of how to turn this ventilator on and how to turn the ventilator off. Now when you're going to do the pre-use check on the ventilator and you're putting the flow sensor tubings and flow sensor in place, you're going to get the kit like this. It's a single patient use kit. This is what you're going to place on your ventilator in order for the ventilator to function. And if you look closely, just like from the previous video, you'll notice that the flow transducer is a bit different than the one on the Hamilton G5. It's got this style of flow transducer. It's the smaller diameter that goes into the, the uh, ventilator circuit, and it's the wider diameter that you hook up your tubing to. Now, I'm not taking out the packaging to show you because I don't want the parts to get lost. And that's a very important concept to remember because when you take this out of the packaging to use it on your ventilator, make sure you don't lose any of the parts because this adapter is very important. You're going to need this adapter during the pre-use check when you need to change the direction of the flow transducer. So you'll, you'll need this to ensure that you complete that pre-use check properly. So don't throw this out. It's a handy adapter to have. Okay, so they come in the kits, they come in these flow transducer or flow sensor kits, so don't lose them. There's also another, it's like a circuit um, connection, so you can ha hook those uh, heated, not the heated wires, you can hook up those uh, flow sensor tubings to it and then have it hooked onto the, the circuit. So that's what you're going to need. Now to turn the ventilator on, I'm just going to readjust the position of the camera here a bit. Sorry for looking right at you like that. Let's turn the ventilator on. Now before you turn the ventilator on, make sure the wheels are locked. Plug in the pneumatic hoses at the back, so grab that oxygen hose, connect it up to your station outlet. Not good right now, you get gas escaping. Make sure that your power cord is plugged in as well to the electrical outlet like that. And then come to the front of the ventilator. Again, make sure you're adhering to cleanliness. Remember, the on-off button is right over here. So just simply push this button. The ventilator is going to make a noise and it's going to start powering up. Powering up. It goes to this screen right here. And what you're going to see at the bottom here right away is the little time bar for the self-test that it does. So it says self-test right over here. Now it's doing its own little internal self-test on the brains of the ventilator per se. Okay. All right. Checks itself out. It's going to come to a main window here right away. There's the main window right over here. This yellow tab indicates that the ventilator is in standby and it's going to stay like this until you Press that button to start ventilation. Once you're happy with the mode of ventilation that you've chosen and you've got those ventilation dynamics programmed or set appropriately. Now to access the pre-use check menu, this is a pre-use check menu right over here and here are all the pre-use checks. The tightness test, the flow sensor test, and the O2 cell test. So all these tests are identical to the servo, sorry, to the Hamilton G5 ventilator self test. So if you uh, have done the self-test on the G5, or if you've watched that video that I made on how to do the self-test on the G5, you'll find doing the self-test on the C2 very, very similar. And uh, with this flow transducer, though, you have to make sure that when you turn the flow transducer for that flow sensor test, that you use that adapter that I showed you that's in the packaging. Okay? And that's, in essence, how you uh, start up the ventilator and access the self or a pre-use check. I'm not going to do the pre-use check because it is so similar to the Hamilton G5. Okay, again, before you do the test, let me make sure all your connections are nice and, and tight. To shut the ventilator off, you simply hold that button down and eventually the ventilator is going to power down. Now the ventilator is shut off. This little green light here just indicates that you've got the ventilator plugged into uh, power outlet, the power cords plugged in. And what we tend to do here in our, our area is we like to keep these ventilators plugged in because we want the battery to remain charged at all times. So that's the C2 ventilator. Hey, how you doing? 
That's the C2 ventilator. Another ventilator that we use, and you can be used, you can use it in, the, in an intensive care unit. It functions fine as a as an intensive care unit ventilator, but it's got limited capabilities when it comes to um, ventilation mechanics for your patients, etc., and what it can do from that perspective. But it makes a, a decent transport ventilator as well. Not that I'm here to promote any product over another product, but it is uh, functions as a as a transport ventilator. All right, that's the Hamilton C2 ventilator. Uh, hope you got some value out of this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down if you didn't. And of course, if you get a chance to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is George signing off. Have a great day. Take care for now. Till next time.